Since the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic in the United States, more than 226 million COVID-19 tests have been administered, according to the CDC. On March 18, 2020, President Donald Trump signed the Families First Coronavirus Response Act into law, which, among other benefits, provided funding for free coronavirus tests for uninsured people across the country. The law requires insurance companies to cover the cost of coronavirus tests with no copay or cost to the patient. The cost of the doctor visit must also be free of charge under the law. Other legislative initiatives have also been signed into law to make testing free and accessible. Free testing sites have been set up in cities across the United States, and millions of Americans have been tested for free since March. However, this isn't the case for everyone. Due to loopholes, billing codes, and other issues, many Americans have walked into testing locations under the impression that their test would be free or covered by their insurance, only to find that the test would cost them hundreds of dollars out of pocket. So the first time I got tested was in August 2020, and I didn't receive a bill for that. Uh, my insurance and everything is already set up. And then the second time I got tested was just the week of Thanksgiving. Everywhere I went, there was either no appointments available, or I couldn't get tested, or the resource said that I could just walk in. But now, because the, the rates are going up, you can't walk in anymore. So I, I remembered that there was a rapid test location on the Upper West Side, maybe five to 10 blocks from my apartment. And so I was like, oh, you know what? Let me like look into that. It says, you know, like to confirm your appointment, you need to make a payment of $250. And it's not one of those things where you can bill later. It was saying I needed to put in my credit card information right then. And so I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. Like I've never had to do that before. So when I spoke to my insurance company, I specifically was asking them for a code that the Rapid Test Center had put on their website. But she was just kind of like, oh yeah, we, you know, we cover that code that you gave us, but because they're not going to bill us, like we already kind of know that it's not going to be accepted and it's going to be your responsibility. I got tested two different times. The very first time I got tested was back in March. So around when it like first started happening. Didn't hear back, like never heard back. I never found out if I had it or not. I just, you know, made sure I stayed home and everything. The second time was about like three weeks ago. And I tried to, you know, instantly go to like a walk-in clinic. So I drove straight there. I got in, you know, she's asking me a couple questions. She said, oh, what insurance do you have? And I told her I had Blue Cross Blue Shield. And then she looked at my card and she was like, oh, we're sorry, we actually don't accept this. So I'm like, I'm like okay. And then she, I'm like, so what do I do? Am I, you know, and she was like, oh, well, it'll be, I think she told me like 350 for the, I think it was like the antibody test. And then she was like, or oh, you can do the, the 275 rapid test where you'll know in like five minutes or something like that. I don't know, I just shook my head because for one, I couldn't afford it at the time. So I'm like, okay, so now I can't get tested um, until I get paid. I was hoping that it would be free because I'm just thinking like, okay, this is a pandemic. They can't be, you know, charging people. It just didn't make sense. I didn't even think that it would cost anything. And the first time it didn't. So. That's why the second time I was just a little bit taken back, like, okay, so what happened, you know, a couple months ago to now to where you guys are charging $250, $300 for a test versus, you know, when I went the first time and, you know, just drove up and got it for free. My brother got sick back in late March, early April. He was pretty sick, so I called my work, let him know, hey, my brother's positive, I'm gonna go get tested. Um, I went and got tested, but it was negative. The second time would have been early September. Got exposed to someone here at the office. They tested positive, so I went and uh, got tested again. So the first time they didn't say anything about cost, they just swabbed me and I, I handed my insurance card. It was after that second one, I had gotten a a bill from them and it showed a past due balance and I realized that that was from the first test as well because I got tested the same place twice and that balance was like 300 bucks so it was 150 per test essentially you know I'm fortunate enough to be able to pay that got insurance 
um, and I have a job that allows me to work from home. So even when I'm at, you know, when I'm quarantined, I'm still getting a paycheck. Um, but I wasn't expecting to, I guess, have to pay for it. That was kind of a surprise. Um, so I paid it. And then when the uh, third and fourth ones came around, which was just here, um, I actually just got back in the office this week from quarantine. And so after the third and fourth one, it's like, well, here goes another 150 bucks. I spent $600 of my HSA funds on four tests. With cases skyrocketing and mass vaccinations still months away for most people in the U.S., testing will remain a key component to combating the spread of COVID-19. For some Americans, though, expensive coronavirus tests could exacerbate the financial hardship caused by the pandemic. I was definitely under the impression from Governor Cuomo and Mayor Bill de Blasio that um, testing should be free and would be free. And if it wasn't, I guess that wasn't going to be okay with them because um, you know, I've heard so many things of different press conferences or things like that where they're kind of objecting to the idea or the notion that insurance companies can really profit from this pandemic. What I, I guess I didn't really ever see any communication on was, was cost. That was nothing that really I ever saw. I didn't realize this was going to cost anything. The fact that certain people have access to tests where they can throw a whole party versus like me having to go and pay $300. Like that just goes to show like the world we live in. Like it's really messed up.